Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salim. In this video, I'm going to talk about import data from Excel and text file using import tools in MATLAB. Let me open first example for the data. For example, here we have three types of data. The first one is grade underscore Excel with extension dot XLSX. This is Excel file. And this one is the grade underscore CSV file with extension CSV. This is text file or CSV file with comma delimited. And the third one is grade underscore tab delimited dot TXT. And uh, this is text file with tab delimited. And then I will open MATLAB. Here is MATLAB to import the data. Just click import data icon here. This icon can be found in the home tab. So under the home tab, go to import data and click. Once I click, the window will come here and ask us where the place or where is the folder, where is the file that containing the data. For example, I can navigate here to the import tool data. Here we have the same three files I just explained. If I select the Excel file, just click and then click open. Once I click open, this window will open here. First, we are going to consider this window and then we will check when importing the data what will be changed here. So first, once we import the data, as you can see, we can see here week 1, 2, 3, 4 to 10 and we can see student 1, 2, 3, 4. This is in this like rows we can see that, that this is a title of the first row in Excel. And uh, we can see here we have two spreadsheet. So the same as the, the Excel sheet, they have here the week underscore grades or like the selected grades. And uh, for example, if we work and, uh, on the week underscore grade spreadsheet, so here we have the selected data set, which is selected from A2 to E11. A2, it means from here to E11, which is here. So it is the highlighted area here in blue. This is the range of the data. And here's the output type. If we click in the output type, we have five different output type, but in the most common, in our case, we have two. The first one is column vector, which importing every column as a vector. And the second one is numeric matrix, which importing all highlighted data as a one matrix. Let's check first that matrix, that numeric matrix case. If I select numeric matrix, so now we all the data will be imported as a one matrix, one 2D matrix. And the name for this matrix will be grade Excel. And this is similar to the name of the file by removing the underscore. So the file name here is grade underscore Excel. So they use this file. And of course we can change, for example, if we just remove Excel, we can just name it as a grade. And then because we have two missing data here, so they miss that we can replace the data using NAN, N-A-N. And of course we can replace NAN with, for example, zero. So they will put zero in this missing data. And now we can import this file by clicking import. If I click import, please notice the workspace here. So the variable name should be grade, as I mentioned. If I click import, so we will have here grade. And if we check for this grade, the size, so the size is 10 rows because we have one to 10 rows and we have five columns, which is weeks and four students. So we have the size is 10 multiplied to one. So if I need to check the value for this grade, we have two ways. The first one is just write grade, enter. And now we have here all the data. This is week one, two, three, four to 10. And this is the student grade. And we can see he replaced the missing data using zero. And the second way to check this value, you can just double click the value. And you can see we have here three tabs, home, plot, apps, and we have two new, which is variable and view. 
And in the variable, we can see that the value here. For example, this is similar to Excel. You can edit. For example, this zero, I need to convert it to 10, for example. And this zero, I need to add it to, for example, to B, for example, five. If I press enter, it is now saved. If I press close here, and then let's print the grid again. Now, this missing data instead of zero, it became 10, and this missing data, it became five instead of zero. So you can manipulate or change data like that. So let me clear the screen. If I write clear, it will clear the workspace, removing all the workspace here. I will click clear and then CLC it cleared the window. And let's try another things. What is the other things? For example, what if, if instead of numeric, I will select, for example, the column vector. If I select column vector, it means that he will select, he will import every column as a vector. And the name will be here weeks, student one, student two, student three, student four. It coming from the names or the labels coming of the Excel file. If I just click import now, the, the changing in the workspace, now we have student one, two, three, four, and week. And you can check the size here. It is 10 rows, which we have 10 value and one column because it's only one column vector. For example, if I need to check the student one, I can write here student one, enter. And now we can see the value. Please note that here, he replaced the unknown value with none. This is, we, we said that the unknown value or missing value, it will be none. But we changed that in the last time. Of course we change it, but once we change the type from numeric to column, it automatically reset this to none. So now we have here the none value. So now we can using this value. For example, if we check student two, we have the value. And of course, if we have the student two grade and I need to know what is, for example, the mean value for that, I can write mean and then I can write student two, enter. So I can know what's the mean value of that. So once we import the, 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 the data, we can use it in our calculation very easy. And the problem with existing NAND, for example, for student number one, if, for example, I write mean of student number one, and then press enter, the mean will be none. So the problem of existing NAND or the missing data, and we replace with none, that we can't do the estimation for that. So for example, if I make clear, again to remove the variable from workspace and clc to clean the screen please note that they change the variables to five six seven eight for the student because we used before if i need to reset because i remove the this variable from the workspace it's very easy just select numeric everything will be reset and then again select the column it will be again student one two three four and then i will replace that using zero and then click import once I import, I have here student one to student four and week one. If I print student one, we will have here zero. So if I need, I replace with zero. So I, I, if I need to calculate the mean of student one, I can have the mean now. Another solution for that, let me clear again and see, let's see. And the other solution is, for example, if we need to import like as a column vector, but we need to, instead of replace, we can exclude the row. The row. It means that we will remove this row, which having the unknown or missing data. So the data will be only one, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Let's check that and let's import the data. Now we have all the student and the week. Let's print student number one so now we here we have seven five eight ten seven nine six eight and the size it's eight multiplied to one not ten not ten row it became eight row so we excluding this row and the other solution is if we write here clc and then 
instead of excluding row, we can exclude the column. It means that if one data is missing in that column, excluding that column, exclude the column from that, and then click import. If I click import, it will be student two, three, and week. So now we miss student one and student four, and only we have, for example, student two, I can print, or week, I can print. So now we have 10 weeks, and but we have only three vector data. So now we understand what will happen if we kind of considering excluding data or replacing like the missing data. And also what is the difference between the like selecting column vector or numeric matrix. So numeric matrix is, is importing the data as a matrix. So let's clear again and make CLC to clear the comment window. And let's consider that I need only to import the four student grade as one matrix. And the week is kind of a vector. So only the week is a vector and the four student for 10 weeks as a matrix. I have to do that. For example, for the week, I can select this data only, like the, 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 the last column. Once I select that column, it means I need to import only that one. And I will select a column vector. It means that I will import only this column. And then I will say, like replace if there is missing data. Of course, we don't have any missing data. And then I will select import. Now we import the week for that. But the problem is, please note that they import the title in this data. We don't need the title. So in that sense, we need to make clear of course, we, we can make clear and then adjust it again. For example, here, if we have the week, I can just select 1 to 10. So I just selected this part and then click import again. So it replaced 11 with 1. So now we have the week. If I just print week, here we can have from 1 to 10. And then if I need to select all these data, so I can select with mouse, Highlight the first one and then drag and drop. So drag all of these data. So I highlighted all the student grade and I need this data to be, for example, matrix with the name grade and then replace all the unknown data with zero. And then I will import the data. So now I have the grade, which is 10 rows with four columns, which is four student. And then for this grade, I can just print and also I can estimate the mean and because this is matrix, so the mean, it means the mean for each student. So I can have the mean for the grade. So now we have the mean for each student. And of course, we can estimate the mean for the whole student grade using the mean, mean of grade. So now this is the mean for all the student grade. So what we need to know now is in this range, we can change the range. And also we can just, for example, highlight several columns. For example, I can say I need this part and then I can click and hold control and then go here for the student number four. So I need only this part in the, mat in the for example, grade number two. So this is kind of like seven rows with two columns. If I just do that and import, I will have grade two with seven rows and two columns. If I print grade two and enter, now I have only this data I selected here. So it is very nice to have this data. And also we can go to the next, like this kind of the work, the, the spreadsheet or the other worksheet. So we can here, we can have here the grade as a matrix, or I need, for example, column vector with names is like the names of the student is the name of every vectors. And if I have missing that, I can replace with zero and then I can select import. So now I have the student grade here, for example, for the N name, so N, if I click enter, I have his grade here, and then I can manipulate that. 
So now we finish that all that technique or all the things about the importing the Excel file. And the next is importing the, the text file. Let me show you. So let me close this one. Let me clear the workspace, CLC to clear the window. If I need to import the text file, I will click again import from the home tab. And once I have here, I will navigate to the folder, for example, here the folder, and then let's import the CSV file. Select the file and click open. The window is exactly the same except of two things. The first thing is, if you check this part, which is the delimiter, this is new. Because the text file, we separated the data using delimiter. For example, we're using comma, we can use, for example, the space, we can use the tab. So we should use delimiter or some tools to separate the data. And like the advantage is MATLAB is very clever to discover what is the delimiter. For example, in the CSV, the delimiter is comma. So he can discover this one. So because CSV is a comma delimited, he select comma. And if we click this arrow, we can select, there are different type of separator or the delimiter, like tab, comma, space, semicolon, and also we can customize which delimiter we have. So here the CSV5 is comma, and still it's exactly the same. We have the range here, we have the data type, which is like the column vector or the numeric matrix. We can replace the data, or we can exclude the row, or exclude the column, for example or just replace the data using the zero. And the second difference is in the Excel sheet, we have in the lower part here, the spreadsheet name. But because the, the text file is only one sheet, so we don't have this part. So the two difference is we have this limiter part, which is not ex existing in Excel, but we miss the spreadsheet, which is existing in Excel. So for example, if we just need to import the student grade, in, in this part and we need to import it as a numeric matrix and the name for example this is grade csv let's consider grade csv file i edit the name and replace the missing data with zero and then i just click import once i import in the workspace we can see the grade csv if i need to check i can double click so i can check here as i mentioned we can replace the data for example instead of this 9, 10, and then just press enter, and then I can close this variable tab, and then I can see the grade by writing grade CSV, and then print, I can see here, and the 9 I replaced with 10, I can see here. And again, I can estimate the mean with grade CSV, and I can have the mean for, for these data. So it is exactly the same as I mentioned. It's no difference. You can easily do that. Let's check that with the tab delimited. So let me clear CLC and then let me close that one. And again, home, import data, and then go to the file. And then I can select the tab delimited, open, and because this is tab delimited, it's discovered that MATLAB is very clever. He discovered this is tab delimiter. So he already discovered and exactly the same that he, he explained or he imported. And we don't have again the spreadsheet here. And we have here the range. We have, for example, the data as a, for example, in this case, column vectors. So we have these column vectors and replace the data using, for example, in this time, minus one and then click import the data. We now hear the data we have. If I show the student number one, enter. So the missing data, it was replaced with minus one and we have the data. We can do whatever we wish. For example, we can multiply the student one by, for example, two. So I can write two multiply to student one grade so every grade here is multiplied to two and of course i can loop for the student grade for example i can do for loop if condition for that grade i can do whatever wish i need that's all for that video thank you bye bye